Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. After a week of record-breaking heat, another heat wave is on the way this week, making it feel like an early start to a long summer. Farm Journal's Tyne Morgan reports on the brutal impact the extreme weather is having on ag and whether it's a warning sign of what's ahead. Record-breaking heat across the south and midwest. Unprecedented flooding that shuttered Yellowstone this week. It's all attributed to one thing. This year, 2022, it does appear that we have a rather intense ridge of high pressure. USDA meteorologist Brad Rippey says while the ridge of high pressure is parked over the country, it is shape shifting. We saw it become established over the desert southwest. It's made a run across the Great Plains, now more recently into the Midwest, the Mid-South, and even the Southeast with early triple digit heat that in fact is a maybe a bit of a warning sign. Rippey says while the Corn Belt isn't in key pollination time, it's a different story farther south. That's not going to have a big impact on the national number, but for these regional and state producers, it's a big deal to see temperatures like 102, 103 degrees when corn is silking. That is going to have an impact on that crop. That same ridge is bringing record nighttime temperatures along with strong storms. One of the keys with these strong ridges of high pressure is that around the periphery of these systems, around the west, the north, and the east sides of these ridges, they do tend to be very active in terms of thunderstorm activity. It's often re referred to as a ring of fire. And that's what caused devastating hail in some areas this week. Now, as this ridge shifts westward later this week, that'll take some of the rain with it, and we'll get more of the, the showers and thunderstorms back across the northern plains, the northwest. In Oklahoma, farmers and ranchers have also seen recent rains. Pasture and range conditions have improved uh, significantly in Oklahoma uh, in the past few weeks. But Oklahoma State Livestock Specialist Daryl Peel says the drought story isn't over, as pasture and range conditions nationally are the worst they've ever been for this time of year. Uh, I think we're looking at uh, probably a record level of net cow culling, uh, up around 13 percent and probably a 3 to 4 percent decrease in the beef cow herd. Even if the drought conditions change dramatically from this point on, it's almost too late for us to really recover from the loss in forage and, and the, uh, the amount of cows we've already culled this year. So could that drought continue to creep into the Midwest? Well, Rippy says it all depends on how the ridge of high pressure shifts a month from now. So here about a month from now, we're going to be looking at where that high is parked. Is it going to affect production? in the 2022 season, and all of that depends on how that strong ridge of high pressure plays out, where it is parked in early to late July when all that corn will be moving through reproduction. All right, thanks, Time. As we look at the latest drought monitor, Rippy says, given the intensity of the ridge and the subtle drying occurring in several areas of the country right now, we could be heading toward flash drought in areas that haven't seen drought yet this season. That includes the Corn Belt.